Even darlings have the following anonymous um, request, which says, A challenge for the Elven King. You say you're not an alcoholic, then prove it. Go one week without alcohol, then make a reaction video showing how you did to prove us to us all that you can do it, and no cheating with video editing. Oh, well. Starting now. Well, there's a little left. Let me finish this and then I will start. Okay, let's let's make a note of the time. Um, it's Wednesday at 7.21.05 p.m. Okay, so wait, wait. No, I, I should probably do the time once I start. Okay. Starting the clock now at 7.21 and I don't think the seconds count. Anyhow. So, darling, we're going to go, what I'm going to do for this challenge is, um, I suppose I should probably start tomorrow since she let the alcohol wear off of my system. Um, but every day I'm going to, um, check in with you and s we'll just see how I'm doing. And it's not going to be any problem because, of course, I have perfect self-control. So, um, so yes, we'll check back in tomorrow and see how I'm doing. Good evening, darlings. It's, um, I, I don't know if, the, I guess this is day one and yesterday was day zero of this new alcohol challenge. Whatever. This is, you know, it's, it's tough just because I'm, I'm a little more tired than normal. Um, you know, normally I'm really relaxed, but last night I actually had a lot of trouble falling asleep, so I was up pretty late. Um, I'm sure you can see the dark circle under my eyes. So um, it was it was a little difficult. So I'm a little tired today, but that's all that's happened. Everything else is perfectly normal, and I I do, I will say yes. I do want a glass, but I am perfectly fine without it. I will function just fine. In fact, I've I've got the bottle here next to me. This nice brand new bottle, and I'm not even going to touch it because I have self control. Look, look, I can. Um, Look, no problem whatsoever. I, it's closed. I can't really smell it, but you know what I mean, darlings. It's not going to tempt me because I am a strong-willed individual. So we'll check in again tomorrow. Um, the time now is um, 6.58. So we'll check in again tomorrow, and you'll see that I'm doing perfectly fine without it. So until then, ta-ta. This is day two now of the no alcohol challenge. I have not slept in two days. It's amazing how um, hard it is to sleep without um, my sleep aid and how absolutely stressful everything is, darlings. You have no idea with you know I, I i think of the alcohol as just sort of um you know a reward for getting through the day and to help keep me calm but i am seriously having a lot more trouble than i expected but that's not to say that i'm not going to make it although if somebody drinks in front of me again i swear to god i'm going to smash the glass into their face but that's <laughs> completely beside the point darlings i'm i'm fine i'm really fine I'm absolutely fine. Um, it's it, two days out of seven. We're we're not even halfway, we're not even a third of the way. But it's fine, darlings. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to hurt anyone. I just want to do these things. But I'm a strong individual, as I said before, and I don't need the alcohol. So let's just continue. Uh, um, still barely, barely sleeping. I, I slept, I fell asleep in a meeting today. You can see I'm, I'm, I'm breaking out, darlings. I'm, I'm turning all red here. And I know, I know it's because I don't have any alcohol in my system. I mean, look, I look a mess. I'm so frizzed out. My, my hair suddenly is deciding to do this and it's not even the weather because the weather is the same as it has been and it's look my hair looks awful my skin looks awful the, the i just i feel awful and 
and I I know it's it's just it's a mental thing, you know. I know that I can do this. I'm perfectly capable. But I may or may not have broken some things last night and this morning and this afternoon. It's been I how many it's been three days, so we're still not halfway there. But we've we've made past the one third mark, and that is a lot, you know. Um it's a lot. I can do this, darlings. It's going to be perfectly fine. And person who challenged me, I'm going to prove to you that there's absolutely nothing wrong with me, that I'm not a clearly I'm not an alcoholic at all. You know, it's it's not that's that's not the sort of person I am. I have perfect self-control and I'm making it through this just fine. So till next time. Ta ta. Good evening, darlings. I'm on day four. Thank God we're past the halfway point. I feel so terrible. I feel like this is a this is a health hazard for me personally. My organs don't know how to function anymore, and um, you know I'm just it. I, I almost drank today just out of habit, you, you know, that the office always is supplied well with wine because that's how I like to have it. And um, it's been so hard. People just keep offering me wine. I have to keep saying no. And then they keep thinking something's wrong. And I'm, I understand why they're so concerned about my health because I feel like at any moment something terrible is going to happen to me, darlings. I really it just feels so awful to feel I feel like I'm dried out like my insides are gone I've been gored by something and it's sobriety it's sobriety dogs and last night I half asleep went into the kitchen and opened a bottle I opened a bottle of wine I didn't drink it though for the record otherwise I would have slept much better but you know I just I just like to smell it just a little bit you know You know, if I just had a little taste, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I, I'm, I'm corking it. I'm corking it. Oh my lord, I don't want to cork it. But <laughs> we've made it halfway. We've, <laughs> we've made it halfway, darlings, haven't we? And so I'm going to go to bed right now in hopes that even though it's 5.30 in the afternoon, that perhaps I can do something about it. I'm going to start work at 3.30 in the morning tomorrow. I'm going to the office. Ta-ta. Day five. I'm so close. To... So close to being done with this awful challenge. And you see how bruised I am, darling. They call it beauty sleep for a reason. Not sleeping is awful for your face. Look how dry and awful I look. I look so old and worn out. And that's because, honestly, that's exactly how I feel. And it's just because I can't sleep anymore. You know, there was, there was a point where I started to actually get a little hyper from the adrenaline, but now it's gone and I just feel like I've been struck by a truck. And the only thing that could make it better would be just a sip. You know, I just need a few drops on my tongue just to revitalize me. And I, do you think that counts, darling, if I just have a couple drops of alcohol? Do you think that would count? Probably. Well, what if, what if I, what if I put it on my face like a facial? You know, maybe my body will remember it. Um, no substitute is working, darling. None of it. No, non-alcoholic business is not the same. Why would you do this to me, darling? I'm gonna go before I say something I regret. Darlings, I can't do 
Do you know how hard it is to make it through the day with the people I have to deal with without even alcohol to come home to? Do you understand how absolutely terrible this is? It is the worst thing. You can't even imagine how absolutely terrible this is. And I can't. I, I can't do this challenge, darling. It's putting the lives of my employees in danger because anything they do wrong, I'm going to kill someone. And if I have one more meeting with Lauren Oakenshield before this is over, <laughs> there will be a homicide. It's not even a joke. It's just, it's the truth. This is my confession to the crime. So I really hope he doesn't get murdered by someone else, because if anyone else is going through what I'm going through, he's not going to survive. For that reason, I think it's best if I stop now, so I'm going to have a drink before I honestly murder someone. Ugh. Screw it, I don't care, it's the, it's the next day, so here we go, darlings, my first sip of alcohol. This is my happy place. But I did it, darling, I made your stupid week without alcohol. Oh god, this feels so good. I'm never doing anything like this ever, ever, ever again. I refuse to, I from, I'm just, for the record, I refuse to take any more of these challenges ever again. Oh. I've needed that. I need that so much more than you might even think. I've needed it. So darling, there you have it. I did my week. It was difficult, more difficult than I had anticipated, I will admit. But honestly, this was a cruel thing to do to me, darlings. Absolutely cruel. And although I appreciate that my son sent me a rather nice message about deciding to take this challenge, I s nevertheless, I never want to do this ever again in my life. This was absolutely horrid. And, and, and cruel, and not just to me, that everyone I work with or deal with on a normal situation just was, just couldn't stop talking about how much they couldn't wait until this challenge was over. You know, they were very supportive in the beginning, but by the third day, it sort of fallen apart. So. Oh, I'm going to sleep so well tonight. Oh, I could fall asleep right now. In fact, darlings, I'm, I'm going to finish this glass and I'm going to go straight to bed because finally I can sleep. So, cheers and ta-ta.